Here it is, close up. Nothing particularly structurally wrong with it. It is bent like someone, you can see the, the bends in it, like someone stamped on it. Um, that's all twisted. But it just seems to be a case of bending the metal back. I don't know how hard that's going to be. And uh, looking forward to getting this open, seeing what it's like inside. Thought it would be simple, but it's not. I don't know if it's because it's jammed in through damage or I'm just not doing it right, but it's not. I've got to work out how to get that out next. I think you have to go in, somehow get those off first. I think you've got to go in through the roof. Anyway, we're there. And now we're inside it. Wow, done. Highly rusty there. And inside, wow. Get the seats out next. They're wooden, aren't they? Yeah. Same old problem that this looks like everything's going to come apart before anything can come apart. Seems you've got to get the seats out before you can get the top off. And they're kind of wind round, wound round with wire in there. But that wire looks very old and rusty. I think I'm going to get rid of that wire and start again. Lovely. Lovely bit of wood. Not yet, but anyway, that's going to come off shortly. At last. So it's a single decker bus now. Must be getting there, surely. Now I need to get that post out, which is what's holding it together there, I think. Phew. We're in. Clockwork mechanism looks reasonable. That just slides straight in there, that should be easy to remember. Very basic, isn't it? And it's there, just about. I had no idea it was going to be so complicated. Well, for me anyway. Is it ever going back together again, I wonder? I tried paint stripper and oven cleaner, but they all got mixed up together. But it seems to be working anyway. Right? Weird effect underneath. Hours later, and some parts are still a long way from being done. I'll keep going with that. The others, we've got the uh, paint off. We've got this very strange finish. I don't know if that was the original or a result of rust over the years or whatever. I don't know what that is really. So we're going to stick it in red wine vinegar and see if it lifts off some, some of that. Or maybe we just live with it and paint it over. I don't know. Very strange. And for good measure, we'll chuck the clockwork motor in as well. Seems to be alright but it is quite rusty so let's put that in and see what happens. Overnight in the vinegar. Looks like the, the rust comes off quite easily now. So a lot of messing about with the vinegar and 
also and other things. It's coming out pretty well. So all those little lines were lines of rust underneath the paint, but they've all come out. Lots of treatment on that, on the motor. It's working beautifully now. Clean it all out with the, the old lighter fuel. Next job then is to straighten these. I'm not quite sure how you do that. I've filled some holes, but what it will look like once it's sanded down, I'm not sure. Do that now. The uh, headlight I made from a uh, milliput and it's looking pretty good. Not from the back, but you won't see it from the back. So if that stays on there, that'll be uh, a result. Slight problem is that as I took another of these um, trying bosses apart, I realised there's the steps missing off the original one. So I've got to copy this from the second one to install it. I thought maybe tin would do this. A tin. Don't know if it will, but we will find out. So first, we get the paint off. It looks good. Looks pretty good. Let's see if it does the job. Next up is teak oil for the wooden seats. That's the original and that's the newly polished ones. Should help protect them. Never done airbrushing before, but I'm about to go in and do it. Final stage. Mixed up all the paint in a little cup and then spilt it all. Start again. I'm actually on the final stages, it's really getting there. So after weeks of ups and downs and false starts, finally done and ready to put it all together. Eventually managed to fit the motor on and it seems to run. This is a very good start. Well, like everything in this project, it's a lot more complicated than I thought. It's taken ages to get this together. Everything seems to have to go in at the same time, which is impossible. But it's getting there. Right. Put the seats in and I glued them in rather than fix them with wire. I didn't like the wire solution. That looks alright like that, I think. Um, I need to put the steering wheel back on, which I drilled out. So I'm going to use some of these, or one of these hopefully, for a, a kit for replacing the matchbox axles. It's coming out alright. 
seat there. So I really am making a meal of this, um, but we are nearly there now. Um, took ages to put this top on. It's still not properly sealed yet, but it will be soon. Uh, my lovely bit broke off there, so I've got to stick that back on. The stairs worked. Homemade stairs look really rather nice in there. Pleased with that. Um, and now we just need to, it's time to refit the pole goes in at the back there and is locked in with this tiny little thing here which I was sure I would have lost by now but it's here and then get the seats on and then the top on fitted the pole seats are in there all oh, seems to be going very well at last if we can get the top on I'll be very happy Finally, finally, we're ready for the moment I've been waiting for. New decals or decals, decals. I don't know how sure you to say it. Um, they're white, so they need to be cut out and then fitted on. I didn't even know such things existed. Exactly the same as the original. Um, so man in the Netherlands makes them and gives the money to charity. Marvellous. Uh, Ukrainian charity. So, these are quite fragile apparently, but if this goes right, it's been a great success. I've got my tepid water, sharp knives, pictures of the original bus, and I'm going in. No point filming it because it's going to take me hours. Okay, I'm getting confident enough. I'm confident enough to do it with a camera on, I think. I bought this on the 19th of March and it's taken two months to learn how to do it and to do it and to get it all done. It's probably 30 hours of work something. I mean, I know I made a big meal out of it. Somebody else probably could have done it in four hours or something, but uh, I learned a lot doing it. Learned how to use an airbrush and how to strip down and clean and repair and put together a 1940s bus. Yeah, I decided it's 1940s now, it's 1945 to late 40s. And the biggest question of all is, does it work after all these changes and messing about and being taken apart and all the rest? I didn't come with a key, but I've got, I had a spare one which has been de-rusted and painted. Realised I shouldn't be touching the sides yet. There we 